Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. For a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. Sovereign God, today we approach your throne of grace with hearts filled with wonder. Who but you could have fashioned the skies, the seas, these beautiful Caribbean lands we call home? 
Who but you, O God, could have created peoples of varying colors and tongues, yet able to join in praise to you? There is none like you, sovereign God. There is none other worthy of our praise and adoration, and we bow humbly in reverence to you. Forgiving God, while we profess our awe and wonder, we also acknowledge that sometimes, oftentimes, we neglect to give you the reverence and praise due to your name. We become distracted by the busyness of life and fail to love you as you demand to be loved. We forget that it is you who has made us and not we ourselves. And when these times come, merciful God, forgive us. Help us to seek moments to pause and reflect on what it means to be your children. Help us to examine our lives and to repent of our shortcomings and offer ourselves to you afresh. Help us through the power of your Holy Spirit to be renewed in love to serve you and our neighbors to the glory of your name. Gracious God, we thank you that we are able to come to you with repentant hearts and receive your forgiveness. We thank you that you continue to love us, especially when we are most unlovable. We thank you that you continue to pour out your grace upon us and to remember our sins no more. Almighty God, we thank you for the sacrifice of your Son whose blood purchased our redemption, the greatest gift of all. As we pause in this time to praise you, to confess our shortcomings to you, and to thank you for your goodness and your mercies, Loving God, we also pause to remember others, both near and far. We pray for the leaders of our countries, that they may submit themselves to governing according to your will. Help them to make decisions in the best interest of all citizens, especially the vulnerable and marginalized. We pray for your church, and especially the people called Methodists. Help our leaders to hear and to follow the direction of your Holy Spirit as they in turn guide us, your people, through these uncertain times. We pray for our children and young people. Help them to feel your love through the actions of their parents, guardians, caregivers, and all persons invested in their care. Lord, today we crave a fresh outpouring of your Spirit. We pray for a revival, a refreshing of our thirsty souls. Fill us with your living water and may it spring forth in us and gush out of us, flowing to other thirsty souls. Loving and powerful God, you have revived us before and we plead for you to do it again, Lord. Our hearts and souls pant after you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Most gracious God, we pray these things in and through the name of your Son, the one who bore our sin and shame, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. for the water so my soul longeth after thee you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee you
The scripture reading comes from Psalm 42. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God. With glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving. A multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon. 
from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to thee at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me. A prayer to God of my salvation. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully? Because the enemy oppresses me. As with a deadly wound in my body. My adversaries taunt me while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Yes, God is good in earth and sky, from ocean depths and spreading water. Ten thousand voices seem to cry, God made us all, and God is good. May the very words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in the sight of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Our theme for this evening, National Revival. Our sub-theme, National Thirst for God. And this theme was taken from the Lenten Prayer Calendar. 
brothers and sisters, the scripture reading coming to us out of Psalm 42 speaks of a thirst, a thirst not for things of the flesh, but that of the spirit, that of God. It brings me back to a contrast of what took place in Jonah chapter 3. And it says, according to verses 3 onwards, Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed. God, they proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, removed his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. Verse 7, then he had a proclamation made in Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles. No human being or animal, nor herd or flock shall taste anything. They shall not feed, nor shall they drink water. This is a king who has charge over a city, a great city at that too. And his command, based on what the prophet of the Lord, that which was Jonah at the appointed time, he believed the proclamation just as the people within the city believed. And he called the entire city to a fast. It is my hope to see that the leaders of this great nation here in Barbados would listen and give a listening ear not only to the church. but also to the voice of God. This is the thirst that is described in the psalm of wanting more and seeking God's face. This is the thirst that I hope leaders in positions inside and outside of governance would take heed and recognize there is a desire for the living water in this land of Barbados. There is a desire for the people wanting more. There are some areas that are dry and there are some that desire an outpouring. Do we believe the voice of the men and women up around 
the world or even within this very land of Barbados? Do we believe the voices that they speak in the name of Jesus Christ? Beckoning to people individually and collectively to change, to change from ways that are not pleasing to God. But here we are as we reflect on the words of the psalmist. In Psalm 42. Which says to us, As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? This is a very cry for most of us as individuals, but as individuals that live in this land, this great land of Barbados. What next? How how then do we believe that we can get the attention of our leaders to really want to seek the face of God on behalf of this great nation? Do we believe that our leaders are capable to humble themselves before God? And perhaps see it fit as this king <laughs> in Jonah chapter 3 saw it fit to hear the voice of God through the prophets, humble himself, took off his robe, and called a fast. A fast not only for his inner circle, but a fast for the entire nation. Sometimes this is the very death that as leaders we have to make and take in order for a nation to be propelled into purpose. This is the type of action a great leader may need to demonstrate in order to regain the trust of the people within a nation. Friends, it is by no way I am politically inclined or affiliated to any party, but it is my hope that leaders within the cabinet, upper and lower house, will come to a recognition that the land is thirsty and they seek to be filled with the living water of God. And when I say the land is thirsty, I don't speak just of the physical not geographical land space. I do to speak to the hearts of men and women and children that are crying out daily, seeking the face of God. The psalmist says, When shall I come and behold the face of God? It means there is a yearning and a desire to have a relationship not only with God for themselves, but also a collective relationship as a people of a nation. One that regains the pride 
and even the ethos of the nation as to what does the nation stand for? What are the morals and morals of the nation? Is it a nation that is founded on Christ and Christ alone? Or is it a nation that will call and allow other gods to be served? As we reflect together, my brothers and sisters, it is not to, just to stir emotions, but it is also an eye-opening to open your spiritual eyes, to not just see the things that have passed or the things that have been presented to you. But it is a call that you will see the things that are to come. It is my hope that God's intention for this great land of Barbados is not destruction, but one of healing and collective unity amongst the body of Christ within this land, as well as good governance and ruling. As we read scripture from time to time, we, will, we heard of kings that ruled. Some were godly and some were ungodly. But this evening, our focus is on whether or not the leaders of this land has a thirst like the people of the land has a thirst. It is a beckoning to know that we are not far off from the heart of God, but it is God's will that none should perish, but for all to have everlasting life. Call me. 
Let us pray. For all your gifts, we bless you, Lord. But chiefly for our heavenly food, your pardoning grace, your quickening words, these promise our song that God is good. Eternal and righteous God, we thank you for the nation of Barbados. We thank you, God, because you are still God and you are still seated upon your throne. We thank you, God, that you are God, that you change us not, but your mind could be changed towards men once they repent. So gracious God, we ask this evening that you continue to extend your hand of grace and mercy over the land of Barbados. We ask, O oh God, that you continue to extend your hand of grace over every individual that may listen to this devotion. Father God, let us as a people repent in all earnesty and sincerity that we can come to know you as we continue to thirst for your living water, for your very word, O oh God, that is fresh and it renews the soul and spirit each and every day. Lord God, have your way in and through us 
as we have come together on behalf of our nation. Lord, we are awaiting, we are in great expectancy of a revival. So, Father God, we don't just want to be revived in the church, but we want to be revived in the nation. We want to be revived as individuals, mighty God, that will come closer and closer to you and do what is required of us. So merciful God, have your way in and through the land of Barbados, for Barbados belongs to you. We pray this prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.